The Michigan Wolverines are at odds of 8-1 to one to win the College Football National Championship. The team's at odds of plus 185 to win the Big Ten Conference Championship. Last season saw the Wolverines go 10-3 straight up while going 6-2 in the Big Ten. The team went 7-6 against the spread and 8-5 on the over-under. Jim Harbaugh again confirmed that he is an elite class football coach as Michigan finished 10-3 and posted just their second double-digit win season since 2006. After years of struggling with their team identity, Harbaugh has made the Wolverines into a team in which blocking, tackling, and defense are the staples. Last season, Michigan was just one dropped punt away from being in the college football playoff conversation going into the final week. With recruiting going gangbusters, expectations could not be higher for the Wolverines. Senior John O'Corn is expected to fend off a strong challenge from junior Wilton Spate for the top job this year. But with Harbaugh tutoring the quarterbacks, it really shouldn't matter who is under center. One point of frustration last year was the rushing attack that ranked only 85th in the nation overall. Although the ground attack showed modest improvement in the final weeks of the season, it was still suffering from the inability of the offensive line to dominate. Our expectation is that there is nowhere to go but up for this unit based on Harbaugh's track record. The man to watch on offense is senior tight end Jake Butt, who could have been first round NFL draft choice, but instead chose to return for a run at the Roses at Michigan. Butt is one of the most dominant tight ends in all of college football. All Big Ten receiver Jay Boo Chesson is another reason for optimism. The backfield is experienced and led by senior Devion Smith and fellow seniors Drake Johnson and Ty Isaac will provide quality depth. Michigan's defense was downright dominant and finished the season as one of the best in the nation with overall rankings of fourth for fewest total yards permitted and sixth for fewest points allowed. First year defensive coordinator Don Brown arrives after DJ Durkin's departure for the head coaching position at Maryland. Brown is expected to be even more aggressive with blitzing and pressure applied to opposing offenses. The defensive line is talented and experienced with seniors Chris Wormley, Ryan Glasgow, and Taco Charlton and could very well turn out to be the best in the country. The defensive backfield, which ranked third in the nation against the pass last year, is led by All-American cornerback Jordan Lewis. From a college football gambling perspective, the only worry about the Wolverines is that they will become a public team that will drive down their betting value. An important factor in any college football season is scheduling, and Michigan is set up for what could prove to be a phenomenal start for the 2016 season. The Wolverines begin with five straight easily winnable home games. It all adds up to the likelihood that Michigan is going to bolt out of the gate with a 7-0 start and top ranking heading into the critical matchups. One of the hurdles that Harbaugh must get Michigan over is the recent dominance of Michigan State. The Spartans have won seven of the last eight meetings against the Wolverines. Although the game is at East Lansing, Michigan will be the more experienced and talented team. This game will be the ultimate reality check on Harbaugh so far. The season finale at Ohio State should be for all the marbles in the Big Ten East Division. And if Michigan can come out with a win, it could be playoff time in Ann Arbor.